everyone welcome back my name is Lynn Wilson and welcome to my home and welcome to my channel if you are new here I am so glad you're here this is a place where you're just going to find everyday living on a budget and with a touch of encouragement and that's about it it's simple living we're not doing anything fancy here and today that's exactly what you're gonna find I needed to fill in a few things in my pantry stockpile and refrigerator and freezers and so I, yeah, I didn't take a grocery list. I should have taken a piece of paper with a grocery list and walk around. I thought I could do it all from memory. I did pretty good, but I did get a few things I probably could have done without. You know, we are trying to not spend as much money and to use up the food that I have in my stockpile. I'm reorganizing my stockpile. I am downsizing my stockpile. Yes, I am downsizing my stockpile because I don't have as many people in the house anymore. So I am downsizing it, but I need to use up some of what I have. So I'm not needing to buy as much, which is saving me a little money in the budget, which allows me to do other things when, you know, end of the month comes and I didn't use as much in the food budget. There you go. So where did I go? I went to Walmart and I got a few things there. And I also went to Aldi and I got a few things there. We have, I'm going to just show you some pictures and do a voice over on the foods that I got and why I got them. Things have been a little crazy in the Wilson household. If you've been around here, you know, um, you know, from other videos, we have some disabilities and difficulties in our, um, in our family and just in life in general. And that's why I haven't been on here for a few days and we're getting through that. But just to make life a little easier and to make sure I get connected with you guys again, I'm going to do a voiceover on that. And then I went to this store called TJ Maxx. I'm assuming you have heard of it or have one near you. If you do not, it's like a Marshalls, a Ross, a little bit of a home goods, that style store. And I popped in, I had a little extra money in the budget and I decided this girl needed some retail therapy. So let's dive into the food and then I'll show you what I got at TJ Maxx. Okay, here's a few things I picked up at Aldi. We got some sub rolls and sandwich bread, some burger rolls for us, so chicken sandwiches, my favorite granola cereal with pumpkin seeds. Picked up some cabbage, we love cabbage, and some spinach and then some naan bread so I can put that with some uh, hummus. So a little bit more from Aldi. I picked up these shake meals. Gavin really likes these. I've heard great reviews on this pizza. Picked up some vine ripe tomatoes, our favorite. We like to do that with some sliced cucumbers on the side with a meal instead of having a full blown salad. We just like those little munchies on the side. Okay, just a couple more things from Aldi. I got these pita bread style hamburger snacking meals for Gavin. I picked up a fish meal. I thought it was the fish, but it was actually like a chips and fish style meal. So the guys both shared that, the famous Chick-fil-A chicken. And then also I got these twice baked potatoes. Let me tell you, you get a lot in the box and they were so delicious. Now a quick stop over to Walmart. I got some Purdue chicken strips, Gavin's new favorite organic milk, some liverwurst, some butter, some cream cheese. We got some tortellinis. I got some bakery bread on clearance. Got a sleeve of burgers. I like to have those in the freezer. Quick and easy, quick meal, snack meal anytime, and just a few other odds and ends here at Walmart. Okay, so you got to see some of the fillers. I still need a few things. I know I need mouthwash. I did not get mouthwash. One or two things like that, probably by the end of the month, we're probably halfway through the month at this point, thereabouts, at least according to my budget. I probably have to get milk one more time and maybe one or two other things. I'm guessing I could probably spend about $25 and I'll be good for the rest of the month. I won't need to buy another thing. So there you have it. There you go. So what did I get at TJ Maxx? Well, I'll tell you what I went in for. I like to have a seasonal hand soap. I know, little little things make me happy. So I did pick this one up. This is not necessarily a seasonal one, 
but it's close enough to it. It is almond blossom scented wildflower and it has the butterfly on it. It was more than, uh, they had the bunnies and the Easter ones, but I just thought this was nice for spring. And this is 24.5 ounces and it was $5.99. Now I know, I live at the Dollar Tree, I live at Dollar General, I know you can get hand soap for a dollar. But when it comes to seasonal soap, it's like three, four times a year, I like to get one that's more seasonal, has a nice fragrance, and I really like a larger soap. This will last us for a long time. That's why I went in there was to look at that soap. But of course, while we were in there, we had to pick up a few other things. I'm hooked on this cedarwood soap for men. I love the scent and so does my youngest son. I could he sit here and smell it all night. Oh, it's so good. So this is, how many ounces is this? 300 grams. So I don't know what that's in terms of ounces, but this was $3.99 and they have soap similar to this at Walmart and it's $10.99. So not a bad deal for that. And then for my husband, he likes getting different things for uh, his hair. This came in a nice tin and things for his beard, like beard oil and beard washing stuff and guy stuff, you know? So he was able to pick up a couple of treats for himself. He was able to walk in the store with me and get that. Then while we were there, I did find K-Cups and he likes the, so do I like the McCaff K-Cups. This was, what was this one? Colombian, the extra dark, that's what Graham likes. I don't like the extra dark. Now, if you know the cost of K-Cups, if you have a Keurig or that type of a coffee, um, a coffee machine, these K-Cups are, at least in our area, are $7.99 to $8.99 a box. They used to be $4.99 to $5.99, and they've gone up in price. You're lucky when you get them on sale, but they haven't been really having good sales. Well, I went there, and they had the McCaff coffee, and it was $5.99 regular price. So I thought to myself, I need to keep that in mind when I'm looking for K-Cups, because $5.99, that is a good deal. And then I also picked up this one. Gavin really likes the flavored coffees, and this was salted caramel. So I believe we've gotten this one before, and I think I've hauled that for you from... Um, I think it was Home Goods actually, and it was $5.99 as well. So, and it says to compare at $8, and they're right. This would have been $8 in another store. So, we did good on that. And then Gavin is in need of some t shirts for the spring and summer, and he wanted a black solid t shirt. So, this was $9.99. And this is by, who is this by? Kenneth Cole. And it is a beautiful. Like, it's a flexible, but it's um, not like... I picked up... This is by... And I got to look for other ones. Philosophy. And uh, it says, Women's Republic Clothing. So, it's just, you know, one of these... It's got a... Oh, I'm, I'm in love with it. It's nice and stretchy. Very, very flowy. You can see this. One of those jackets that drape, you know, you just... A drapey. It's like a camel cream color. I would love to find this in gray and find it in black. I have a video up and coming on doing your wardrobe on a budget. And if you just need a change up, you need to do something a little different. I'm going to be doing that on how you can do that with some basic clothing. But this thing is just so, so nice. The problem I had shopping was my husband came with me. And my husband has had um, some difficulties lately physically. And it's been a big challenge for our family just to get through the day sometimes. So because Graham came with me, and it, I know he's sitting over here and he's listening to every word I'm saying, and he's even smiling because he knows what I'm going to say. But when he can get out and get out and about, he has this ornate ability to find things that I like, and then he insists that I buy them. And people would say, oh, you're staying on a budget. You know, you can't be spending money. Listen. When your partner is on a disability and can't do what other partners would do for you, you know, drive out, buy you things, 
take you on a trip and so on and so forth. When they can get out and they want to spoil you or they want to do something special, I have had to learn just to insist once, no, no, we don't need to. And then after that, let it go and let him do what he wants to do treat you to something, spoil you, whatever the case might be, because it is his way of saying, I love you. It is his way of saying, I want to take care of you. It's his way of just showing love and affection toward his wife. He can't do that in other ways. He can't just drive to a store and do certain things. It's hard to explain. So once in a while, we will do some retail therapy. And that's what Graham needed to do. And he was able to Find something that is near and dear to my heart. I love planners. You know I love planners. I talk about them. I live with my planners. This has the magnetic strip on the back and it was $3.99 and it 80 pages. I loved it. It was so simple. My daily plan to do, work out, eat, drink, notes, email, phone, and appointments. And I can actually take these out and just punch holes in them, fit it right in my planner if I wanted to. I don't know how I'm going to use it, but it's going with me tomorrow and I'm going to be using it as a daily plan. And Graham said, oh, you have to have this. And I said, no, I don't. And he says, yes, you do. So it is the cutest little tote and it looks like either a tote bag or like even like a little pocketbook, but it is a lunch bag. So it came with a water bottle right here, has a pocket over here that you can put another water bottle. And then as you open it, it came with two of these containers. They're like a lock and lock where they, um, you know, they seal up on the sides. So I can put salad in one and a sandwich in the other or whatever the case might be. They fit nicely snuggled in here. The inside is thermal and then it even has a pocket in here and it came with its own ice pack. How cool is that? So I have to put this in the freezer tonight but it has a pocket right inside there, a mesh pocket. You can see that right there. And then it just has a little snap closure on the front and off I go to work with lunch. And I usually bring breakfast and lunch. And I thought it was great. My coffee cup would stand right in here perfectly. I can fit an extra bottle of water there. And then one other thing that I purchased and I treated myself, I forgot to show you this in the clothing line. I love boots and I love sneakers and check this out. This is by Breezy's. I don't know if you've ever heard Breezy's. They're extremely lightweight, very comfortable. I loved the color. It's coming up a little gray on the screen, but it's actually like a camo green color. And I just love boots and I love sneakers. And this is what I can live in all day, every day. So I picked that up for myself as well. And that's what I got. So between the food and hitting TJ Maxx, we did the dry cleaners. We went out to lunch. I'll put a little picture here of our lunch. We had a good day, didn't we? We sure we did. did. Graham has been under the weather, not um, sick, but he has a um, a disc, a disc located? Her herniated. herniated disc. And he had a fall about two weeks ago into something very hard, which, you know, something in our home and it broke and he has been slowly feeling this soreness in his back. And the last two days, he's just about been on all fours trying to get around the house. He's got a cane and he's just been in a lot of pain. So we are now taking care of that. We came back from the doctor today, found out what the problem is. He probably has a four to six week recovery. But at least we're headed in the right direction, right, babe? That's right. That's it. So a little retail therapy the other day, and here we go. So we'll catch you all on the next video.